I remember my first date with my future wife vividly. It was a great time, and I knew that I wanted her to be my wife from the moment I saw her. We laughed and talked until the check came, and she said, let's split it. I said, no, no way. The idea of her paying for her half of the meal wasn't going to happen. This had nothing to do with my ego or pride. I simply wanted to show her how special she was. She was worth that check and all the bills from every date that followed, and she still is. I still think about that moment, and I realized something. How often do I try to split the check with God? Because most of the time, I feel like I owe him for all the times he's shown me incredible grace and love. Sometimes I view him as some miser doling out bits of grace with a frown on his face. Again. But nothing could be farther from the truth. In Ephesians chapter 1, the Apostle Paul writes, In him, Jesus, we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace that he lavished on us. Lavish is such a rich word, evoking images of being pampered, treated, spoiled. The cross reminds us of our brokenness and our need for a savior, yet it also proclaims God's amazing love for us. It's an incredible symbol of lavishness. Paul not only reminds us of what we have, redemption, forgiveness, but why? We have it to the praise of his glorious grace. God wants to show off and show out. He wants us to know that we're loved and loved by the most wealthy being in the universe. When we ask God for something, we're not begging Ebenezer Scrooge, a miser obsessed with hoarding his riches. We're approaching one with limitless wealth who delights to give it away. God delights to grant us forgiveness through Jesus. He never gets tired of it. When we bring our requests to him, he's thrilled. He never runs out of anything love, provision, mercy. The more we need God, the more he gets to prove how rich he is. Right now, at this moment, God is lavishing on you Christian mercy and grace. You can order anything on the menu. God's got more than enough to pay the tab. Whatever you need, ask him for it. When you do, remember that his response is always, I'm so glad you asked, with a big smile.